Welcome back to another video where I'm making a game using ChatGPT. Now this game is very simple at its core. Basically, we have projectors. These projectors produce a beam of light. These can be reflected with a reflector and we can bounce them around wherever we want depending on how many reflectors we have in the scene. And then we have the reprojectors. Now these require two beams of light. If two beams of light hit the reprojector in an additive way, that reprojector will then produce a new color and project that beam of light. So the next thing I wanted to work on in the game was a win condition. Right now we have our projectors, our reflectors and our reprojector and while they work and function great, uh, there's no win condition. So ChatGPT and I have come up with a new module um, or component, whatever you want to call it, uh, and we're calling it a light receiver. Now the light receiver is very basic. Uh, all it is, is it's requiring some sort of color to hit it that you can set, um, whether it's yellow, blue, red, it doesn't matter. Um, but once that particular color has activated the light receiver, we now have a game manager that sort of iterates through all the light receivers and once all of them have been activated, that's the win condition. Um, and as of right now, we just debug in the Unity console saying that the level's completed, but in, in the future videos, basically we're going to be switching scenes and doing all kinds of stuff with that. So the last thing I wanted to work on here was just some shaders for a couple of things. Now I'm going to be completing all of our components with some sort of custom shader as we aren't using models, we're just using primitive shapes from Unity. But the first thing uh, ChatGPT and I came up with was sort of a uh, deformation, sort of waving, sort of like effect for our projector. Um, and then we also have the same going for a reflector. However, where the wave starts uh, changes depending on whether the beam actually hits the reflector. Um, so I'll show you an example of that here. And that's it for this video. I thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end and I hope you're all learning something out of this. Again, I just want to reiterate that everything I'm doing uh, in, in this series, it's, it's basically just working with ChatGPT. Um, I'm making very little to no code changes. Every iteration I need, even if it's just a simple Boolean I need added to the code, I'm trying to get ChatGPT to do it all. Um, and then hopefully the end result of all of this is a released game on Google Play. So I thank you guys so much for watching. If you like the video, please give it a like. And if you have any ideas, suggestions or whatnot, just leave a comment in the comment section. If you haven't already, please subscribe just so you don't miss out on any of my future content. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye now.